Let's talk about it. Your mental health, my mental health, our collective mental health and well-being matters. And there's a lot of myths floating around out here. So I want to be the myth buster to at least one of the things I have heard. The reality is, is that mental illness does not discriminate. We could think of any intersectionality and all of them, research will tell you, have been impacted. So it doesn't matter what race, what culture, what ethnicity, what language you speak, your social, economic status, your sexual identity, your gender, your education level, your age, all people of all intersectionalities have been impacted with mental health illnesses. I can say I am the beneficiary of depression and anxiety. Now, there's a variety of ways that I could have navigated through, but what I used to hear when I was younger was that if a person is diagnosed with a mental illness, they would have to seek medication as part of their treatment plan to be well. The reality is, is that that is some treatment plans for some people. That is not the path that I took. The path that I chose to take was seeking therapy. I also chose to be intentional with the support system that I had and changed my lifestyle, including the stressors that I was surrounding myself with and what I put into my body. So I'm just here to bust the myth of medication isn't always the way for everyone. There's no one size fits all.